Which leads me into my next story. State Street unveils a new crypto business in the wake of global. Well, congratulations, State Street. Everyone's so happy for you. Congratulations, State Street. We're all so happy for you. On Friday, June 11, 2021, 10.40 a.m., several global megabanks, including Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, and JP Morgan, already announcing plans to launch their own cryptocurrency-focused trading desk. <laughs> I feel like they're already there, you know? Coindesk reported that State Street has launched its own crypto division to be led by EBP Najin Shakar. And I'm sure, if you're like, I'm sure if you look into her, and I'm sure if you look into her, it'll be an interesting story. They explain stuff, but basically, congratulations to State Street, right? And at the same time, sorry for the bad news, say State Street, because... Global banking regulator urges toughest capital rules for crypto. <laughs> so that was Thursday. <laughs> right, so the day of Thursday, it says, here's some cap, going to be some tough cap rules for you. And on Friday, State Street said, well, let's do crypto. And so did all these other companies. Woo! Nothing like some <laughs> regulations. There is nothing better than a regulation, especially when the regulation leads to the new leak of taxpayer info is more evidence of ISR. Yeah, I'm going to call it ISR so I don't get, so it doesn't trigger anything. It's the ISR corruption. Okay, on Thursday, sometimes try to go easy. Why? Yeah, okay, it's part, it's a fault of politicians, but at the same time, man, I love the IRS if you're listening. And that is all I'm going to say about that because they're going to figure out if you've got crypto or not.